impressions of, of him, uh, and and also kind of what's he going through as a guy like you know, like yourself. Like mm -hmm. you guys have to watch that weight. Yeah, Jordan Davis, he's a, a tremendous player. He's in very good shape. To be honest, if Jordan Davis do, does what he do, he could be one of the best defensive linemen in the country. So Jordan Davis is really doing what he's doing to help the team, help himself, to put himself in a better predicament in life and everything. So like that. So Jordan keep doing stuff like that. We'll be a very good team. He's a, a major part to our, our offensive line, defensive line, because practicing against him is like practicing against anybody. What's your offseason been like, Simon? You look like he's uh up a little bit, maybe the weight's the same, more muscle? Yes, sir, weight the same, more muscle. Got a great nutrition, Miss Cardio. So other than that, we just been training very hard, trying to keep a good mindset. Our main goal is to stay conditioned, don't get tired, out fourth quarter, our other opponent. Can you tell the difference in your conditioning in today's 100-degree uh, heat index compared to last fall? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Guarantee, yeah, that's a, it's a big difference. You can tell, like, we really pushed each other this summer, really worked hard on staying in the sun, making that uh, goal or help towards us in the game when we play at 3.30, 12 o'clock, any, any type of those games. So how do you feel standing here today, uh, you know, compared to where you came into the yeah. two freshmen? Not a lot of expectations on you, and you haven't expected just a whole, whole lot to, to be in the spot for this University of Georgia team right now. How do you kind of Right now, for me, I just feel blessed for the opportunity. I'm taking it day by day. Like I said, I'm blessed for the opportunity. I thank everything. I thank Coach Smart. I thank Coach Pittman for uh, allow me to get this scholarship or allow me to come in and be a player I am today. So I'm just trying to be a leader for my team and keep moving on. What's the best advice Coach Pittman has given you since you've been here? Best advice Coach Pittman gave me when he, since he's been here, since I've been here is don't do nothing different. We recruited you for a reason and I told you what I'm going to do for you. So stay the same. I got you for a reason. So be loyal to me. I'll be loyal to you. And that's what he all, that's what he have did from day one. The only thing you had to prove yourself as an individual before you really started getting that comfort level to, to play like you right Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely I had to prove myself. Coming out of high school, I went very high recruited, had three stars and all type of stuff. So a lot of teams looked over me because of my weight and then because of stars and where I'm from and everything. Went, did come from a really big high school, but now they're on the rise. So when I got to this level, I really had a chip on my shoulder. I had something to prove, so that's my main that's my main goal, and I honor that. I do it for my family. What, what was the first time you dealt with Coach Pittman? Can you remember when he came to your high school? Uh, this is going to be a funny story. So one day I was at school, and one of, our, one of my, my coaches was like, uh, Solomon, come down to the uh, pra basketball practice. Matter of fact, we had basketball practice, but I was um, – doing um, school work, trying to get some extra creative for this class this and third. So one of my coaches say, one of my coaches say, Solomon, hurry up, get down here. Go, uh, I drove the coach down here. I was like, okay. Hurry up and ran down, ran down to the gym. Ran down to the gym. Like I said, I just got out of class. I'm like, didn't stretch. My team's doing layup line. So I go put on my shoes, go put on my little warm-up jersey and my warm-up shorts. So now I'm running. I'm running. I'm running to the, uh, get my shoes on, get my clothes on. So now, like I said, we're in the layup line. I get, I get the ball. I'm like last in line. So I get the ball as I'm going up for a layup. Completely missed the layup. In front of Coach Pittman, I'm like, oh, man, he's going to think I suck. But after that, after that, we started doing like running the floor. And then he seen like, oh, man, this big man can move. I was moving my feet, running up and down the court. Like had good feet work, great athletic ability. So he was like, yeah, he's, he, he's good. <laughs> Um, you may not know this. You're not a social media guy from, from what I, you don't have social media. But so, second team All SEC like yeah. in the preseason Outland Trophy watch list. I mean, you know when you know like you were talking about, kind of coming from where you came from and, and being there. I mean, do you pay any attention to that? Do you, do you kind of get any gratification from that? Not at all. I don't pay attention to none of that because, like I said once before, when I came from high school, nobody didn't really know me. Now I feel like that's the same way. Just because I'm doing good now, I got a chip on my shoulder. I'm gonna have that chip on my shoulder for the rest of my life to the point where I got to prove something. No matter if I win this award, win that award, second team, first team, All American, it don't even matter. I just come out and play for my team and try to be a great leader for my team. What do you see from Cade? I guess Ben said he's getting some snaps at center. Oh yeah, Cade is tremendous. He can play anything. He can go from center at one on ones and go to left tackle at one on ones. Then come back to right guard. Might put him out there at receiver. He might catch a few passes. So, but Cade is doing a very good job. He's a tremendous help to our team. He he's coming along. Any other young linemen that have impressed you in this fall camp? 
Clay Webb, Clay Webb, Clay Webb, that's my boy. Yeah, Clay Webb, he really impressed me. He's, he's, he's going to be very good in the future. Is he playing behind you at left guard? Or? Uh, we switch around, you know, they switch around. Um, not really too many left guard, center, both of them right guard at times. Doesn't he have a little mean streak going to him, Clay? Oh, yeah, Clay got a very mean streak going to him. If you, if you, if you didn't know Clay, he'll think Clay is mad at you. He might walk through here, you'd be like, okay. I'm going to leave Clay Webb alone, but he used that on the field. But he's a very good person. He's a very good guy. So, I like it. I like Clay. What's the intensity been like with the D-line? I mean, all we hear about is the great wall and how great the offensive line is. Those guys get a little, little pushy out there. On the oh, yeah. Field. I think he gets pretty good. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's, that's, that's just the brand that we have at Georgia. Physical, dominant offense and defensive line. You have that, you're going to win the championship. We're, we're supposed to be called the great wall. We don't pay attention to that. But the defensive line feels like, Okay, we're going against the best, supposed to be best offensive line every day. Nobody can't stop us, to be honest. So they come out there with a chip on the shoulder every day. We try to go at it. Todd Clark, David Marshall, uh, uh, Jordan Davis, um, Latour, all them boys, they come out there and try to be the best and go against us so they can be the best on Saturday. So are you talking out there? Anybody, do, do they throw that name? I mean, that's on a drill or anything like that? Nah, that? that's not too, too much what we do at Georgia. You lose, you lose. Come back the next <laughs> rep, try to, try to win that rep. What about, is it uh, evident that David Marshall's back? He's a guy that gone so long last year that it's like a lot of experience on that D-line. Uh, I don't really know. That's that's not really my my my. You ain't run, in, you ain't run into 51 oh, in? Yeah, I've ran into him a few times, but I don't know if you feel me. But he's he's going to be good. I think he's I think he's okay. I think he's healthy. You mentioned the great ball. A lot of people are speculating this might be George's best move. Is that something you guys take pride in? And I mean, we take a lot of pride in it, but we come to practice every day. Like we don't have any award. We take that as we take that as a chip on our shoulder to prove to the world that we are great and that we are the good offensive line. But we don't pay attention too much of that stuff. We just want to be great. We want to win that championship and be great leaders, and a great main point of the team, making us good. How does so how does Pittman um, kind of show you guys where you still have areas uh, with all the hype? Outside this building, does he show you clips of practice where you guys maybe screwed up? And, and oh yeah, Coach Pittman, he's a great he's a great coach. Like he's one of the best coaches I ever had, and I, I feel like he's gonna be one of the best coaches after me. But Coach Pittman, he gonna he gonna get on you no matter what. He get on Andrew. Andrew is a very good player no matter what. He's supposed to be number one offensive lineman in the country. He gonna get on Andrew if he mess up. He get on me if I mess up. He get on to the fourth screen. It just came in. He gonna mess up. He gonna coach you to be great. So. That's the that's the type of that's the type of relationship we have with Cole Pittman and the commitment we have with Pittman. Cole Pittman told every single one of us when we came in, he wants us to be great. He wants us to succeed to the next level or to be our full potential. So Cole Pittman, he does that every day, no matter what. He could be tired, sleepy. He's still gonna show you that he cares, he loves you, no matter who you are and what you did.